Welcome back. Last video, you actually looked into some ideations. There will be some kind of chaos or confusion. It's beautiful. Don't worry. The chaos and confusion is the start. Once you go through those moments, that is when you are evolving as an entrepreneur. So <clears throat> ensure that you do your Ikigai exercise if you're not done yet. Uh, please ensure it, it has a lot of nectar which comes out. Sometimes you have to do it many a times as well. Probably you'll do it today, you might do it tomorrow evening, you might do it for multiple days as well. But you still will get one thing and that will be a aha moment. It will happen very, very soon. If you don't practice about it, probably it doesn't have any kind of fruits. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a request. Please go ahead and do it and uh, you will have your idea. Now we are coming to how to make that idea better or find a special niche in that idea of what you are searching for. Uh, let's say that there might be a broad spectrum kind of domain with multiple similar problems okay and you can provide solution to one area of it that's your niche area when you are a specialist over there so how do you go about it again i will keep mentioning effortless ideation once you have your passion your talents and the, and the what world needs as well as uh, <clears throat> what you are good at it becomes effortless the journey becomes joyful okay so if you do uh, any of your work with a kind of enthusiasm which comes naturally from you many a times everything becomes effortless so let's let go look into what is effortless ideation the moment you add <clears throat> if you say that the work is hard and you replace the word work and hard as saying that those are the activities which bring me joy or also let's say entrepreneurship is quite joyful it's a beautiful journey change those words into this one and immediately it becomes much more effortless okay now what is effortless ideation effortless ideation is very simple you observe you observe the area of your area of your interest you go to those places and you start observing the customers the entrepreneurs you probably go to the conferences or events related to that or meetup groups. It could be anything. You just go observe or uh, your product or service in action, the places where you have. Uh, or uh, then you go observe, you comprehend. You observe and you comprehend the process. You get that niche idea. Usually, whatever you observe or comprehend, you can do it. So many times before doing it, Whatever you observe and comprehend, you will understand where the problem is and you know how to go ahead and create a solution. So it's very simple. Ideas comes from a beautiful observation and understanding, comprehension. Just observe and moving away may not help. Go a little deeper, get into a level of comprehension. And your mind is so amazing. It gives you solutions. It gives you solutions. It gives you direction. It gives you the niche areas. Okay. So the next thing is, uh, that's one thing. Make this your uh, important aspect of your uh, effortless ideation. The other thing is the perception. The perception is very simple. <clears throat> what basically is perception? You would have heard about the story of poor blind man. Uh, a blind man went to near an elephant and uh, they touched different parts of the uh, different uh, parts of the elephant. One touched the uh, leg, another touched the trunk, another touched the tail, another touched the wall, isn't it? So, and after that they came to back to their guru. And the guru asked how the elephant is. Uh, could you please, uh, I mean, explain how the elephant is. And the one person who touched the, the, <coughs> the stomach, he told that an elephant is like a wall. The man who touched uh, the leg, he said that the elephant is like a pillar. Uh, the man who touched, uh, um, the blind man who touched the tail, he said that the elephant is like a rope. The other person who touched the trunk, he said that it's like a flexible pipe. Now the question is, who is wrong in this? No one are wrong. Everyone has different perceptions. That's about it. So when you socialize with people as well, you should accept that their perceptions is based on their beliefs and their some total of experiences. Now coming to why are we talking about perceptions in this? See, when you have good perceptions, 
ability when you see a problem or situation 90 more usually majority of the people they don't want to look into the problem or a context or a challenge they run away that is where you as an entrepreneur are going to win the moment you see a problem or a challenge or a situation which is not so comfortable your mind says loudly wow it's an opportunity it's an opportunity Look at how different it is. People running away from the problems and the people who really look at uh, and say that that's an opportunity. Okay. So the moment you see the problem challenges and other things, your mind will be saying that it's an opportunity. Practice that. Practice that a little more and your ideation will become more and more effortless and you'll get brilliant ideas. The next thing is um, you, you should think that you are a champion of innovation. That's an identity. What's your identity? If you think that I am a champion of innovation, not creativity, just creativity, creativity, bringing it to a product or a service and giving it to the people, that's innovation. So once you think that you are an innovation champion, that becomes your identity. That gets into your subconscious mind and you start feeling that, yes, I'm good at it. I'm an innovative champion. So that's something what you're looking into. And how you're going to do that? <clears throat> you can visualize, you can meet your potential customers uh, you think about the customer avatar, what is their, their problems, what is their lifestyle, what is their daily routines apart from the problem what they have and how your uh, product or service can empower their life, make their lives better. Th these are the things you keep asking about. And how do you get better ideas? You can actually socialize with people with similar kind of domains or other industries wherein you can see that what kind of problems they faced and how they have resolved it. So you might meet those kind of people and probably you'll, you'll buy more innovative stuff so that you can associate with innovation. So once you do all these things, innovation comes naturally to you and whatever idea comes, please have an idea journal, a small book which you love and, and definitely document them. Or else if you like uh, small, uh, I mean uh, kind of apps like Evernote and other things, again that's your taste, ensure that you have it. You can take photographs as well and keep that and keep these documentations. All these are beautiful, simple but powerful steps of you becoming an effortless entrepreneur.